Welcome to Stave Draws. I'm Stave the Groot, a Dutch artist. And in this video, I'm going to show you the updates that are in Procreate 5.2 beta. 3D painting, AR, stroke stabilization, single touch gestures, and lots more. I'm showing you Procreate 5.2 beta. The beta version will not be the real Procreate 5.2 version that you can download this year or maybe in the beginning of next year. I'm in the beta team of Procreate, so I can test out this version on stability and bugs that might occur. This is still the private beta, but I asked Savage Interactive for permission to show you what is coming. This has been a highly anticipated update that started six months ago. You can follow Procreate on all the socials. There they show you some teasers of what's coming. In this video I'll give you an overview of all the new features. In the next videos I will go more in depth to all of the features. So subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. So what's coming to Procreate 5.2? 3D painting. The most important update is painting on 3D objects. You can now import OBJ and USD models into Procreate and paint on them with all the brushes, image filters, quick shape and even import photos. When you open Procreate 5.2 you can import a default model pack and start playing around with the 8 models. You can move around the object while you are painting. You can also select parts of the object and paint them separately. 3D Transform You can also use the Transform tool to transform your 3D painting on the model. In Automatic you can make it bigger, rotate it and place it on the object. Flip the image vertical and horizontal. Rotate it in 45 degrees increments. Increase or decrease the projection depth of the picture and wrap it around your object. In advanced you can change the angle of the projection, the height and width. And you can change the interpolation of nearest neighbor, by linear or by cubic. Press reset to reset the image. Lighting Studio In Actions there is a new 3D section. You can show the 2D texture of the model, the paint through mesh and edit lighting and environment. Here you can change the lighting of the object by adding up to 4 light sources. You can change the color of the lights and move them around the object. There are also 11 default environments you can choose from. View in AR You can also view the model you just painted in AR. You can increase the size of the model and view it from all angles when you move around your iPad around the model. Material brushes. Painting in 3D requires some new brushes that react to light and materials. Savage has added new filters of the brushes menu. Materials. In materials you can choose the metallic source. You can increase the amount of metallic the brush will reflect. Also the roughness of the material. It all depends on what part of the model you want to paint. Does it absorb light or reflect light? In materials you can choose your material. New material brush set. In Procreate 5.2 there is a new brush set called materials. They're made for painting on the 3D models. There are 17 brushes in the brush set, with some interesting names. In the next video I will test out all of these brushes and see what they do. 3D Animated Export You can export your 3D model as a Procreate file, but also as USDZ or OBJ format. Then you can import the 3D model with your painted mesh. You can also export the 3D models as an animation 
as an animated GIF, animated PNG, animated MP4, or an animated HEVC. Procreate has two ways for exporting the 3D model. Animated Rotate and Animated Swing. You can select the size of your video from 720p up to 4K. And you can adjust the animation duration, zoom distance and the ease of the animation. You also have the option to export the animation with a transparent background. Stroke Stabilization In brushes there is now a dedicated stabilization tab. You can still adjust the streamline amount. But with stabilization you have even more control over the stabilization of your strokes. You can also apply stabilization for all brushes. When you go to Actions and then Prefs, select Pressure and Smoothing. You can adjust the stabilization motion filtering and motion filtering expression for all the brushes you use. You can also use this together with the stabilization of single brushes. Motion filtering. Motion filtering does the same thing, but it's more for people who have less control over the motion of their hand. With motion filtering, you can filter out the motion. You can filter out the amount and expression of the way you draw. Even if you have a steady hand, this is an interesting filter where you can draw straight lines or curves without using quick shape. Page Assist In Actions Canvas is a new option. Page Assist When you toggle it on, you can create a canvas with multiple pages. It works the same as Animation Assist, but now your layers are separate pages. You can export them as a PDF file with multiple pages. But you can also import existing PDFs in Procreate and go through them in Procreate 5.2. Recent Brushes Your last 8 brushes you recently used are now saved at the top of the brush library in Recent. You can also pin your favorite brush by swiping from right to left. Tap on pin to pin the brush. Press on clear if you want to clear the brush from recent. Tap on find to find out in which brush set the brush is assigned to. Brush size memory. With brush size memory you can save up to 4 marks on every brush. When you adjust the size or opacity of your brush you can see a plus sign. Adjust the size of opacity with your finger and then tap on the plus sign. It creates a mark on the slider. When you have several marks and slide to a different mark, it magnetically snaps to the mark. You can use brush size memory to brushes, smudge and erase. Improved adjustments. The adjustments you can make to a layer are now improved. Now you can select a layer and apply an effect on the whole layer and then make extra adjustments with your Apple Pencil. And also apply a different amount of the effect. Now the menu of layer and pencil is on top of the screen. New color cards. In the color menu there is an extra section in the palette tab. Cards. Cards are big color cards with names in them. All of your palettes are also available as cards. If you make a custom palette, it also will be a color card. Every card is automatically named, but you can also change the name of a color. If you have some colors of a logo or character, you can now name them. Color Description Notification Color Description Notifications When you now select the color from the canvas, the colors are named on top of the screen. When you hover over the canvas, you can see the color description notifications. You need to go to the settings on your iPad and Procreate 5.2 to activate it. Single Touch Gestures Companion when you are in the settings of Procreate 5.2, you can also toggle on Single Touch Gesture Companion. 
When you go back to Procreate 5.2, a new window will pop up on your canvas with shortcuts to undo, redo, zoom, move, and fit canvas. Feedback sounds. In the settings, you can also toggle on feedback sounds. I already had it on. You hear feedback sounds when you change the buttons on the top UI. In adjustments with the filters, you hear an increase in sound when you adjust the sliders. When you save it as a format, you hear a belting sound. And when you save it to your iPad or anywhere else, it sounds like sending a mail. Customizable onion skin colors. The only improvement in animation assist is customizable onion skin colors. Now you can customize the onion skin colors. Tap on settings in the timeline bar and then tap on onion skin colors. You will get a color window pop up where you can select the color of the frame before and the frame after. iPad OS 15 memory updates. iPad Pros with 6 GB of RAM can now take advantage of the extra memory and create more layers and bigger resolutions. You need to install iPad OS 15 to use the extra memory. For instance, on my iPad 12.9 inch from 2018, an animation at 1080p has 253 layers. When you have an iPad Pro with the M1 chip with 1TB of storage and 16GB of RAM, you'll have 902 layers to work with. And you can create a canvas size up to 16K by 8K. There are more little features coming to Procreate 5.2, but I wasn't able to test them yet in this beta version. I will make more videos about the updates. So when will Procreate 5.2 become available? That's hard to tell. In the live stream, the CEO of right, Savage <laughs> answered the question. Ah, when is this releasing? <laughs> Good question. Right at the end. Uh, I don't know if we're, we can say when it's going to be released just yet. Um, we are working really, really hard on it. We would hope we would hoped we had released it uh, a little bit sooner than we have, guys. But we've just been so focused on mm. uh, learning about 3D. To be honest, there's just so much in 3D that we have to account for. So we kind of want to make sure that we're only going to ship it when we feel it's it's working uh, beautifully. And it will be hopefully this year. Um, you know, the office is kind of um, buzzing with 5.2 stuff at the moment. Mm. So. Um, shouldn't shouldn't be too much longer. Mm. Hopefully this year. Mm. They want to have a stable app that works on all iPads. That's why we, the beta testers, are helping them to make the best app possible. I also made a post on my website. I'll leave a link below this video. There you can read everything in text and read it at your own pace. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to hit that notification bell. Each time I upload a new video, you will get a notification. If you have any questions about Procreate 5.2 Beta, please let me know in the comments. Drawing is fun and practice makes perfect. See you next time. Doodles!